I'm a student at Nashville Software School, and I'm uh, uh, my background is in uh, I'm a gra uh, engineering graduate, and I'm uh, looking out for an opening in the job market in data science field. Um, so I joined uh, Nashville Software School last, uh, in the month of August, I mean last October, and uh, we are up to doing a project. This is our Midstone project, which we did. Um, so what I did was I selected this topic, which is uh, the world's billionaire by Forbes, the Forbes listings. Uh, my project was is, uh, basically is upon like uh, is upon the 2017 billionaires, and it, the focus is to understand how these uh, billionaires made their uh, fortune, like whether they inherited it or it is uh, they are self-made, and if they are self-made, in which industries have these guys made their uh, fortune from? So, uh, and there were a lot of other questions which were lingering, like say, are there any women billionaires in the world? If so, how many, in which industry have they done it? And um, um, who are the youngest billionaires, if, if they are? And a lot of other things. And the main motivation for my project is, I have been to different nine different countries of the world, and this is my ninth place. So I am really fascinated by people's um, by people, their culture, their riches, and the infrastructure. So I was just thinking, like, how do these people make their money? So that was a main motivation. And my hypothesis is, um, basically, these people are um, made their money in high technology and heavy industries. This is what my guess was. But after uh, doing it, I um, web scraped the data from the Forbes listing, uh, from the Forbes website, and. Um, got it in a JSON format and then uh, did the analysis. And in my analysis, um, I did count country-wise and all that. So any guesses on uh, which country tops the world with more number of billionaires? Naturally. <laughs> yes, US. It has been shown here. But um, like, Normally our focus would be like what are the five top most five countries like if you see China, Russia, India and uh, Germany stands the most in the world with uh, more number of billionaires and I uh, did this shiny app with uh, all these various features which are uh, you can just select it like whatever the gender you want if you want to see um, the male and into, in, into which industries have they been doing have been they uh, involvement is in which sector have they gained their wealth so we can just see like finance and investment seems to be on the top of the list so like this this is all the basic um, outer picture of all the um, details about the billionaires like and how many we have in say um, uh, the finance and investment we have got 275 uh, they have the maximum count right so like this and does age matters because of um, uh, like, does the age seem to be a criteria for a person to involve in any industry? So when you go like that, so depending upon the age, it seems that technology seems to be the top industry in which young people tend to invest. And as age goes by, it is always the finance and the investment and real estate. That's what um, this data says. So what happened was into all these things, what are the source? The next um, plot, this is about the, the industry-wise plot was about, um, it's a subdivision of the industry-wise plot. So this gives you like in what industries that, um, they specialize in and uh, giving you a net worth of their uh, amount or uh, their fortune. And, uh, this is a table which is showing you all the data, I mean, of the top billionaires in the world. And you can just select like whichever the uh, options you can go for. If you want to go for the young group, you can just select it and it shows us that Mark Zuckerberg is on the top with the maximum, uh, I mean, the uh, more amount, yeah, net worth of us. But one other thing which the finding which I did over here was when you see, um, my focus was upon uh, females, and I um, and it turned out that um, 
when you see the age wise the youngest female billionaires are from uh, are Alexandria Anderson and Katrina who are from Norway they are actually they inherited their wealth so this is a kind of self made plus inherited um so like uh, when you see the um, female star or all you will get to know that um the gusto magnet that is the person from he is also a male who who uh, made his fortune after inheriting his wealth like after inheriting his wealth he um he did the salmon fishing and because of that he is the supplier for the whole in this whole world i mean that made him his, he increased his fortune after inheriting so there are certain um different criteria which uh, make a person um earn the fortune right and one other interesting thing is um a person has in gained his wealth by du during uh, doing his tutoring also which was uh, very um, um let, let me just show you yeah so this person yeah the zang banksen whoever so he has earned he has become one of the billionaires by doing an after school tutoring which i was uh, astonished to know yeah after school tutoring so that's is kind of interesting to know these people yeah so uh, based upon this i uh, what happened was this results by uh, the forbes uh, declare the results every uh, every year in the month of march so just before doing this project just two days before our completion uh the 2018 listing was done so i just scraped out the data just to see if there is any comparison between the 17 and the 18 and are there any uh, uh rank uh, the countries um, changes like have they changed their positions or are there any increase in number of uh, billionaires and finally found out that yes united states uh, tops the list with more than 500 billionaires in the world out of 2000 and not and china uh, uh places a second and india has come from third to i'm sorry from fourth to third position and when you see here germany and china seems to have increased their women billionaires and um, one of the thing is when you see the table over here um for all the age group um we had the top 3 from us right and now here in this uh, 2018 bill gates was pushed to the second position and um, um jeff bezos is the one who has topped the world with and uh, he's been declared as the first tricentennial billionaire in the world so that was really awesome sorry tricentennial yeah tricenti billionaire oh yeah more than 100000 three digit billionaire uh, so that was really fascinating for me to learn, to see and learn this stuff so this is the kind of the project which i did with finding out which industries uh make these people billionaire like us you have got more in finance and investment and norway has got more the youngest billionaires and india is in two healthcare which we didn't expect we were thinking like india will be in uh, oil and um, uh, steel but it happened that uh, we have got more in the healthcare industry which was after analyzing that we came to know and china is into real estate more number of billionaires come from real estate industry so this is what i did any questions um so the situation where somebody stand I I'm sorry I didn't get you can you just ask up again Yeah sorry so if you had a billionaire that was involved in say finance and I don't know aerospace or something Uh-huh how was that how did you handle that and break down my industry Um I have got options for that also like in which sources to see have that uh, mm, like say if it is a uh, retail then what Walmart or whatever I had I had the data in it So based upon that I did the groupings and then did the
precisely and found out the net worth of them. So, and John. <laughs> I didn't get you. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was saying that perhaps marital status would have been very important for the Fine. Is there anything else? <coughs> Any other questions? How many billionaires were in this? In uh, 2017, it was uh, 2035. And it increased by 2018. Okay. So every year, there's an approximate 200 billionaires getting added up in the list. And most from US and China. It's not what it used to be a billionaire now. <laughs> no, you've got a lot of industry making, making of money, right? And you've got a lot of ways, which normally we didn't think about. Right now, there are a lot of opportunities for everyone. So you had mentioned some inherited wealth. Yes. Um, like what's the threshold for considering that you, you know, you're a billionaire and you started? I mean, what's the minimum amount of money you need to be considered inherited and on your way, I guess? To <laughs> That guys which I told, they inherited like uh, say one or 1.5 billion from their, okay, so from their family. Yeah, straight from their dad. Just to cut off his tax, he just gave it to his daughters. Um, and naturally they became billionaires. But the other guy, he got it at the age of 19. He got it inherited uh, like 1.5, but he gained, he increased his fortune by doing, a, uh, doing the salmon farming business and uh, he has increased his rank from that. Yeah. That's it. Thank you.